We had um, a quick question in the, the chat I thought you could um, answer. I think you had mentioned in your previous blip about advanced coding. They wanted to know what you meant by advanced coding. Oh, well, at the college, what they did was they had students that were in different medical fields, and so they took a basic coding, ICD-9 and CPT, and did a little bit in HCPCS, but if they were going to go into coding as a specialty, they took advanced coding, and then uh, that actually was not just diagnosis coding, you know, where they gave you statements where you looked at a chart and said, oh, I need to code for hypertension. You know, uh, if you were working in the medical field and someone said I needed a code for hypertension, then they could look it up and say 401.9. But if you're um, in advanced coding, then you're actually coding charts and, and op reports, and you really get into the guidelines, uh, uh, things uh, like what ha what goes with peripheral vascular disease, you know, uh, what conditions, who, how do you code first, um, uh, like the questions that we just did with um, cancer coding and, and things, you, you really know the guidelines and you usually are going to set for the CPC exam. Basic coders don't usually get a certification, an advanced certification like a CPC exam or a C, uh, CS. So it's more detailed, kind of like, it, it would be like what we do at CCO. Uh, those, that course is an advanced coding course because it's, it's instructing you on how to pass the exam. Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits. Go to www.codingcertification.org.